what if I gave you a word like this to read? Since you're a grown-up who's been reading for a while, you might be able to pronounce it. But unless you know Latin, it's just going to look like a collection of letters to you. There's no way for you to know what this means. That's how young children feel when we present them with words made up of what, to them, are just a bunch of abstract symbols. Even if they hear it, they may not know the meaning of the word. Words have much greater relevance to children when they have a chance to act out their meaning. For the word ad lied, I could ask you what it is that Italians do to grapes with their feet, or what we do with a foot when we're having a temper tantrum. If you thought stomp, you'd be right. But if you also acted it out while saying the word, you'd understand it even better, and you'd likely remember it. Here's a word comprehension activity specifically about action words or verbs. Choose action words from the following list. Traveling words such as waddle, sneak, pounce, float, bounce, slither, and stalk. Non-traveling words include melt, shake, collapse, shrink, wriggle, spin, shiver, and tremble. Verbs that pause the action include freeze, pause, flop, drop, and stop. Write a few words on chart paper and post the list for the children to see. Encourage the children in a discussion about the meaning of the words. Call out one word at a time and have the children demonstrate the word's meaning. When the children are ready for a greater challenge, present two or more words at a time to act out in sequence. For example, you might invite them to stamp and shake. Later, you might lengthen that to stamp, stop, and shake. How about some fast and slow action words? Post slow and fast words for the children to see. Slow movements might include stomp, trudge, meander, and sneak. Fast possibilities include hurry, fly, run, dash, and scurry. Talk to the children about the meaning of each of these words. Invite them to demonstrate the words as you call them out, alternating between the slow and the fast. Slow and fast are opposites, but if you want to focus on other opposites, try this next activity. Ask the children to demonstrate the following words with their body or body parts. Feel free to add other words to the list. Write the words on chart paper and post it for the children to see. Up, down, small, large, long, short, forward, backward, happy, sad, high, low, front, back, tiny, enormous, wide, narrow, top, bottom. Once the children have the hang of this, another way to explore opposites is for them to work in partners, with each partner demonstrating one of the two word pairings. For example, if you call out high, one partner forms a high shape, such as standing on tiptoe with arms above the head. As that partner holds her position, call out low, which her partner demonstrates, for instance, by crouching near the floor. This gives the children an opportunity to see the contrast between the two words. Descriptive words, also known as adjectives, are the focus of this next activity. Post a list of adjectives that lend themselves to demonstrations. To demonstration, possibilities include strong, light, graceful, forceful, smooth, droopy, gentle, floppy, careful, enormous, tiny, excited. Talk to the children about the meaning of the words you've chosen. Then call out one word at a time, inviting the children to demonstrate each word. I'm glad you joined me, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe to this channel. To learn more about my work and how you can get a PDF with this script and these slides, plus a bonus activity and suggestions for children's literature and music to accompany the activities, go to raypeka.com. I'll see you next time.